Number 10 is the Saiga AK-TR-37. The Saiga AK-TR-37 is a civilian version of the AK-12 and AK-15 carbines. Its receiver is made from stamped steel and features new front and rear trunnions, not compatible with earlier generations of AK. The top cover is detachable and equipped with an integrated Picatinny rail. The top cover lock is located at the front and uses a captive cross pin. The rear engagement point of the top cover features a special spring that ensures stable zero retention for any sight mounted on top of the cover. The TR3 retains the signature features of the AK but has improved ergonomics and compatibility with modern sighting systems. Number 9 is the PSA KS47 Gen 2. It is based on the AR-15 and combines the modular construction, accuracy, and precision of the AR platform with the stopping power of the AK-47. The KS-47 lower has steel reinforcements to accept AK-style surplus magazines, including the 75-round drums. Its extended magazine release features oversized side paddles for fingertips released by the trigger finger. Unlike the AK-47, where the barrel is permanently pressed into the receiver, the KS-47 features an AR-style modular configuration, which consists of a barreled upper receiver and a lower receiver that houses the fire control group and magazine. The modular configuration allows customers to have several different barrel configurations with one lower receiver, just by releasing two pins. Number 8 is the VZ-58. It's a gas-operated selective fire weapon. It's well-balanced and handles much better than the AK-47. Some other shortcomings of the AK-47 were fixed, such as the uncomfortable fire mode selector. Its accuracy is adequate for NATO-sized targets out to a couple of hundred meters. The VZ is fed from detachable 30-round magazines. They are not interchangeable with those of the AK-47 or its variants. The VZ-58 was originally produced with a solid wood-impregnated plastic buttstock. There was also a version with a side-folding metal stock. This weapon was designed in such a way that its buttstock could be easily removed and replaced without affecting the operation of the weapon. It appeared that this feature was needed, as its wood-impregnated buttstock tended to crack in cold weather. Number 7 is the M10 MZ-47S. The MZ-47 is a direct gas impingement 7.62 by 39 mm assault rifle. The MZ-47 is designed to offer the advantages of a modern weapon that combines the M4 ease of operation and fast target acquisition, combined with the AK-47 firepower. It accommodates the standard AK-47 magazines. However, it features a mag release paddle within the extended trigger guard. Also, it's equipped with a collapsible stock and Picatinny rails for mounting scope and other accessories. It's available in three barrel lengths, 11 and a half inches, 14 and a half inches, and 16 inches. Number six is the Rock River Arms LAR-47. The LAR-47 is essentially a direct impingement AR-type rifle, chambered in 7.62 by 39 millimeter cartridge, which accepts most standard AK magazines. Operating the rifle is a blend between the AR and AK platform, with the safety and charging mechanisms operating like an AR, while reloading mechanics similar to the AK. The magazine is inserted by rocking the magazine rearward and deposited in virtually the same manner as an AK, with the pressing of an ambidextrous release paddle located just inside the oversized trigger guard and pulling forward and out. Like the AK-47, the LAR-47 lacks a bolt catch so the bolt closes on an empty magazine and cannot be locked open. The LAR-47 field strips like an AR-15 and uses the same internals, including the trigger, safety, disconnector, hammer, and springs. Number 5 is the Polish Berl. It's a rugged weapon, which inherited reliability from Kalishnikov's designs. Contrary to the AK, its fire mode selector is located on the left side of the receiver, just like on the M4-style rifle. But also, AK-type safety switch is present on the right side of the receiver. Safety and fire mode selector arrangement on the Polish barrel is more comfortable to use than that presented on other AK assault rifles. This assault rifle is fitted with a top-mounted Picatinny rail for mounting various optics and accessories. The barrel assault rifle is also available in 5.56 by 45 mm NATO round. Number 4 is the Arak 21. The AR-15 and the AK-47 are the two most iconic rifles of the last 60 years. The Iraq-21 combines those two very different gun design philosophies into a single system. It boasts a wide variety of features that offer lots of options for customization. 
It's equipped with a quad rail forend, allowing attachments on all sides. The side and bottom rails are easily removable. Also, a Picatinny rail runs the full length of the top of the gun. It features a dual ejector, allowing you to eject your spent shell casings to the left or right. This feature is a godsend for lefty shooters who often have to contend with casings being ejected to the right. The Arax safety is also ambidextrous. It feeds from AR-style magazines. Number 3 is the CMMG MK47 Mutant. The MK47 Mutant combines the accuracy and modularity of the AR-15 with the reliability of the AK-47. It uses a standard AR-15-style direct impingement gas expansion system for cycling the action. Its machined aluminum upper and lower receivers keep weight to a minimum, yet it withstands the pressure of the 7.62 by 39 mm cartridge. The lower receiver of the MK-47 has been lengthened to accommodate the AK round. The rifle uses standard AK-47 magazines and is also equipped with the AK-style mag release. The fully modular assault rifle is ready to accept various accessories, sights and optics. Its adjustable six-position stock with mil-spec receiver extension and pistol grip fits a variety of body types and sizes. It's a great AR-style rifle chambered in a powerful AK round. Number 2 is the Galil Ace Gen 2. The Galil Ace Gen 2 is a continuation of the Galil Ace, which is based on the reliable mechanics of the original Galil rifle, first developed in the late 1960s. While remaining faithful to the mechanical design of the AK-47, it features a milled steel receiver with a polymer lower to save some weight. Compared to the previous version, it has a different trigger and safety design, a free-floating M-lock handguard, and a side-folding adjustable telescoping buttstock with M4 stock capability. Also, the top receiver features a two-piece Picatinny rail that gives you plenty of space to mount sights and an optic. The Galil Ace Gen 2, today more than ever, represents a link between the AR-15 and the AK-47 worlds. Number 1 is the CZ Bren 2 MS. It's the next generation of the CZ Bren model. This new generation Bren has trimmed down the aluminum receiver and lower made from carbon reinforced polymer. This results in a more robust firearm that is noticeably lighter in weight. The generous mounting rail along the entire length of the upper receiver gives you the option to mount a wide range of accessories, such as red dot sights, flashlights, laser pointers, front handguards, and more. The CZ Bren 2 MS uses the factory 7.62 by 39 magazines to ensure last round hold open and consistent feeding. Also, the rifle is swappable to different barrel lengths and chamberings and features a modular foreend that can be swapped to different lengths. The CZ Bren 2 MS is a powerful, accurate, and reliable rifle that has become a leader in its category.